Have you ever just wanted to play N64 games on your computer? Well breaking news, you can. And in this video I will show you how. The first step is to open your browser and search for Project 64. It should look like this. Click the big blue button saying download here that is above the orange button saying join our discord. You'll download a setup program. Open it. It will then ask if this program should make changes to your device. Click yes. From here a pop-up window will appear saying welcome to the Project 64 setup wizard. Click next from the starting screen. Then you will be treated to a screen with a directory bar. This will determine where you want to store the program files. If you do not want to change this, continue forward by clicking next. Then the setup wizard will ask if you want to create a desktop icon and install it on some weird portable mode I've honestly never heard of. Just continue forward with next. The program will quickly install and then you will be treated to a finish screen. Check launch project 64 and click finish. The program will then start up. You should see this window. Now to actually get a game to play, or what we call ROMs, go to romsgames.net. Go to the Nintendo 64 section and pick from a variety of titles. Since I haven't played it yet, I'll try out Donkey Kong 64. Once that is finished, find the zip file, right-click it, and select Extract here. There's my new game to play. But I can't seem to play it when I double-click it. Fear not. Simply drag it into the Project 64 application window to boot up the game for now. Okay. Make sure to play a bit of the game to see if it is running okay on your computer. That's good enough. Thanks DK. Now let's configure our controls. Go to options and click configure controller plugin. The window may take a while to pop up. Now configure your controls by clicking the buttons that say up, left, right or start, A, B. You know what I mean. You'll need to press a key on your keyboard when the bar corresponding to the button says awaiting input. Done. Now let's play. Okay. You can also press the escape key to go in and out of full screen. It's like you hooked up your N64 to your monitor. Oops, I accidentally forgot to set up the main joystick input. Okay, I'm back, now let's play. Oh! 
What the? Oh well, the game still works. One more tip, you can press F5 to save a save state. These are really useful, trust me. Now let's make a ROMs folder. You'll need admin access to modify or create files through File Explorer. This only applies if you've installed Project 64 in the program file's location on your C drive. Now right-click in the blank space of Project 64 and click Choose ROM Directory. Find the folder you created in Project 64, select it, and click OK. Then drag the .z64 file you used to play the game on and drag it into the ROMs folder. It will instantly appear in Project 64 for you to play at easy access. You will also be able to see notes the ROM dumper made. This one notes that polygon tearing may be a problem. Hey remember that? Okay, so now let's say you have a PS4 controller and you want to use it with Project 64. Now let's install a program called DS4 Windows. Please make sure you have the following listed on screen.
Now let's begin. Search up DS4 Windows on your browser and click DS4 Windows by Jay's Two Kings. Click the green download button above the pink, red, and blue buttons. Then click DS4 Windows.zip under the latest version, you will start to download it. Right click the .zip file and then click extract here. There will be two files with the same icon. Double click the file that says DS4 Windows. Congrence. Your PS4 controller is now hooked up. Just change the input in Project 64 and you are good to go. You can press F7 to load from your last save state. Looking cool, Joker! <laughs> 